So yeah, uh, this is the question. Our calendars are based on the motion of the sun and the moon through the celestial sphere. The solar calendar with this many days is based on cyclical motions of, of the sun and the lunar calendar with about 20 days. Uh, you know, I think it's actually 29 days. <laughs> I said about, give or take two days. <laughs> 20 days for one month is based on the cyclical motion of the moon. Um, so, yeah, I'll fix it next semester maybe. Uh, I think what I need to have done is actually research the actual lunar calendars. I don't really pay attention to lunar calendars. So I don't know how many days they actually have. Might be 28, might be 29. I'll look it up later. Um, so might be 30 days. <laughs> um, so in terms of how many days does it take for the sun to return to its original location relative to the fixed stars? And um, what it means is, um, so it's kind of hinted at the hint there. It's a 365 days. So, um, then it asks, how many degrees does the sun move per day relative to the fixed stars? Well, the hint kind of asks you, <laughs> or it gives you a hint that when it returns, it has moved one full circle. And the way we define angles is that's a 360 degrees. So, um, so this is the calculation that you are going through. Let me uh, bring up a calculator here. Um, so you have, the sun has moved 360 degrees. That's how much it has moved. And it took 365 days to do it. So uh, per day, it, so this is the calculation you do, 360 degrees per number of days. So divide by number of days, that gives you the degrees. And you can enter this either, you know, with the three significant figures. That's kind of an easy default, 0 0.986. That'll give you a correct answer. And you can also do, um, uh, you can also round it. I, when I programmed in this question, I programmed it with enough tolerance so that if you just put in one, it will also accept it as correct. Uh, most of the times, uh, in this class, I don't want you to worry about rounding so much. If you just round to three significant figures, that's fine most of the time. And oftentimes, if you kind of round in a sensible way, um, you will get it. And uh, which kind of leads to what's a potentially an error in the question is with the lunar calendar, I gave it 28 days for one month. And here, if you answer 28, the system will say it's correct. Now, I think if you say 30, which could potentially be actual number of days in a lunar month, it won't say it's correct. So I need to um, research lunar calendars and uh, make sure that it will accept a range of answers, possibly anywhere between 28 to 30, I don't know. <laughs> so for the purpose of this question, let's say 28 is the day that's meant to be correct. <laughs> and then uh, how many degrees does the moon move per day? and um, you figure out the number of degrees the same way you would uh, figure it out for the sun. So the moon, once uh, uh, it's uh, completed one full turn relative to the fixed stars, it'll have moved 360 degrees and it'll have done it within 28 days. <laughs> if that's the correct number of days in a lunar month. Then uh, 12 point, let me round it to three significant figures, so 12.9. Um, so if I put in 12.9, it'll um, accept it as correct answer. Um, and uh, I think here I actually put it enough tolerance. So even if you put in 12, which actually could be correct if uh, a lunar month is 30 days, then uh, that will also be considered correct because there's a big enough tolerance. Uh, the reason this uh, wasn't set to such a large tolerance was, you know, it's an integer answer. I didn't think people would be rounding it. 